Okay, let's go ahead and do our drag bars on our Honda Arrow here. Uh, if you'll notice, these are the older style, and they don't have the risers, so this is the uh, riser that we supply. Now, the large washer on the bottom here is the washer that came off the bottom of the stock bar. And if you'll notice, this is the way it mounts on the motorcycle. The counterbore is on the bottom, that's real important. Then the uh, little chamfered edge will go on the top next to the uh, clamp. Now, when you install this, uh, what you want to do is you want that thread to go all the way up in that hole, but you don't want it to go inside the hole, so it's important that it uh, kind of goes all the way up but doesn't go inside the hole. We may later on want to add a washer here. So, And then the uh, other thing is, you'll notice the uh, these clamps are offset. There's a bigger gap in the back than the front. Uh, when you mount those on the bike, put the gap in the back. That's so you to guarantee that you'll get a real good clamping action on that. So, Anyway, and then uh, you'll notice I'm doing the motorcycle with the tank off. That's the best way to go. Now, if you're going to do the bike with the tank on, be sure and put a towel over the tank like that. Protect your paint and your tank because uh, what happens is when this handlebar swivels over, you can hit the tank right here. And you don't want that to do that because you'd actually put a dent in the tank. So uh, that's another thing I do is I make sure I angle the bars up a lot when I'm first uh, putting them on and then angle them down when you f do your final adjustment. Let's get started. Okay, the first thing we'll do is remove the mirrors. And then uh, before you take the clutch lever off, there's two little wires here that you'll unplug. That's the uh, wires going to the clutch lever. You can go ahead and unplug those. And then you take this, these two screws out here, and that'll undo that cap. And that'll allow, allow your clutch cable to uh, clutch lever to fall down. And then this is your uh, uh, switch housing here. That has a Phillips screw on the bottom on two Phillips screws on the bottoms. Just go ahead and uh, undo those Phillips screws, and that'll split apart, and uh, you can go ahead and remove that. And then on the right side... Same thing on the, uh, you have two little wires coming out of the, underneath here. Go ahead and unplug those before you remove your master cylinder here. And then you just go ahead and remove those two screws there and your, your uh, brake lever and your master cylinder will go ahead and uh, release from the handlebar and you can let that dangle down there. And then the last thing we'll do is the uh, throttle. Uh, hold on and we'll do that next. Okay, this is the left uh, hand grip. I'm going to replace the grips with our Avons that we sell. I really like those a lot, and it's, sometimes it's difficult to get this grip off to reuse it. Uh, but if you want to try, you can go ahead and pop this end cap off. And then uh, sometimes you can slide a screwdriver under there and kind of break the glue loose and slide that off, and then you can reuse that. If not, I'm just going to go ahead and cut it and then uh, just slide it off there. So I'll be right back. Okay, our next step, we'll go ahead and take these uh, nuts off the bottom of the uh, triple clamp here. Uh, make sure you save the big washers. Uh, so go ahead and remove those two, and then we'll show you how to get that throttle side off. Okay, I've separated this uh, clamshell cover on the uh, throttle side here. Uh, go ahead and separate that. It won't slide off because the uh, bars and the, you know, the cables are too short. So what we'll do now is we'll go ahead and uh, take the uh, bars out. Well, don't forget to save this little plastic washer here, too, for the other side. Uh, but anyway, go ahead and just, uh, uh, as you lift the bars off the bike, then you can go ahead and slide this off the end of the bar the throttle so go ahead and lift the bars out slide that off and then we're all ready to put our uh, drag bars on okay let's go ahead and mount our risers now uh, this is the uh, uh, straight part of the riser here remember that has the uh, counterboard end like that that goes down and the chamfered end up the reason for that is as you tighten these bolts this uh, there's a, a steel bushing that'll compress in in the rubber and it'll slide up inside that a counterboard area so if you'll notice I've got this one tight over here and this one loose you can see that the uh, this one has the gap as you tighten that that'll compress that washer and then the washer should go up and hit that aluminum part there so make this nice and rigid and then uh, go ahead and trial one trial fit one of them tighten one of them up just make sure that there's plenty of thread uh, you've used up all the threads inside the uh, clamp here if there, there should be, that should be fairly close to the top surface there. Now if that's actually protruding into that uh, round area where the handlebar goes, you'll have to put an extra washer down below. But go ahead and just tighten one up, make sure that they, you've used up all those threads, and then we'll continue on. Okay, I'm going to replace this uh, grip with our Avon grips that we sell. Uh, so if you're going to leave your stock grip, just uh, skip this section. But anyway, what you want to do is you want to uh, adjust the uh, adjusting screw here all the way this way so that it gives you the most play that you, in the uh, throttle possible. So adjust that all the way that way, it'll, it'll leave you uh, the maximum amount of play in your throttle. And then what you want to do is you just take this and just kind of rotate this up out of the housing like that. 
and then just kind of pull that cable over like that and release it. Get it released here. And then uh, go ahead and release the other one. And there you have it. We'll put the new uh, throttle on. Okay, go ahead and uh, glue the uh, proper uh, throttle cam in place on your uh, throttle tube like that. Now pay attention because uh, the, the small one, the narrow one is for the Honda. Then this wider one is for all the other bikes. So make sure you don't you don't use this wide one. It's, it's the skinnier one of the two. So go ahead and do that and then uh, let it cure just like the directions say and then we'll continue on. Okay, if you've lucked out and uh, got enough play in your cables, you can go ahead and put this throttle back together. Uh, this, this throttle tube on the Avon Grip is just a little bigger diameter, so uh, it, it requires a little more play in the throttle cables to, for it to go back in. But anyway, basically you just hook the throttle cables in like that. It's outside the housing, and then hopefully you can just kind of pull that, kind of rotate it, the throttle, and kind of ro rock that in there. Don't put too much pressure on it. And pull that cable over the top. And hopefully that'll pop right in there and it'll rotate and be just fine. Make sure there's a little play there. Make sure it rotates freely and snaps back. Now, if, if for some reason there's not enough play in the cables, uh, pay attention we'll, we'll, we will proceed. Okay, I'll show you all the uh, adjustments on the cable to get it as loose as possible. Uh, okay, this is under the gas tank. This is the uh, snorkel on the uh, air breather. So you go ahead and uh, loosen this clamp here. And then uh, go ahead and just kind of pry that out to get it started. I've, I've done that ahead of time, but pry that snorkel out. Back that out so you can see it. Okay, this is on the right side of the motorcycle. Okay, this is where your throttle cables go down into your carburetor right here. Okay, now you'll notice on this one there's a, an, an adjustment right here. Go ahead and uh, loosen that lock screw and then go ahead and screw that down all the way down. As far as it'll go. And then you may want to snug that uh, lock nut back up again a little bit. Or just snug that up so there's no uh, play in there. And that will get rid of all the, all the, or maximize your play right there. And then the other thing you want to do is on your throttle tube itself. Is go ahead and remove the uh, switch. Inside here it has two little screws. Make sure you don't lose the little screws. Pop that switch out. And then you can go ahead and uh, back these uh, cables out. I'll, I'll show you that in just a second. Okay, the next thing you do is you take this, uh, the one uh, adjuster and cable out, just take it out all the way like that, and then that'll allow you to go ahead and uh, adjust that uh, locking nut all the way out on that one, and then you can go ahead and screw that in all the way. I would screw it in until it bottoms, the threads bottom out here, and then just maybe back it out, or a half turn or turn, just enough to get that on there. The lock nut just barely uh, lock on there. You know, even if that was just floating and it wasn't ever locked again, that's that's not going to go anywhere. So, even if you want to just back that all the way out and leave it loose, that's fine. But you want to get the maximum amount of play out of this you can. So, and then the, before you put this back in, make sure that this actually mounts on the motorcycle this way with the throttle tubes forward. So when you put this one, this other one back in, make sure that you uh, the throttle cables are in line on, up to the motorcycle. Make sure they're not twisted. So go ahead and insert that one back in there and screw that one down all the way and then you should have the maximum amount of play. So go ahead and screw this one in all the way. And then you should have the maximum amount of uh, cables hanging out inside the housing here. Okay, I've got this uh, adjuster all the way down here so there's the maximum amount of play in our cables now. This adjuster is all the way down, uh, the one on the carburetor. So hopefully this will go back in there now. So I've hooked the cables on just like that out of the housing. Let's see if we can go ahead and rotate this in. I kind of open the throttle a little bit as I put it in there, you know. Kind of pry it in there. Uh, there it goes. Go ahead and pop that over there. Make sure the cable down underneath is uh, in under the housing good. And then uh, there it goes. It fit this time. And there's plenty of play in there. So I think we're home free on that one. Oh, thank God. So let's go ahead and put our switch back in. And then... Uh, uh, you know, tighten the adjuster on the carburetor, put the little snorkel back on, and uh, we should be ready to put these bad boy handlebars on this bike. Okay, for your reference on this switch, uh, this is the uh, cables coming out of this side. This is the off position here on the top toward the uh, throttle uh, connections here. And then on the inside, this is how it goes. So there's your switch, and then a little bar that holds the cable is, is like that. So I'll switch that over there. Okay, you can see that. 
So anyway, that's how that switch uh, screws back in there. And then go ahead and rotate it a couple times, make sure it clicks good. And then we'll go ahead and mount the bars. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, mount the handlebar to the motorcycle. Uh, if you'll notice, I've marked the center line of the handlebar. And then the right side of the handlebar is the masked side of the handlebar, the bare steel. That's for your throttle, obviously. So go ahead and lay the handlebars in the clamps. And uh, Now with these bottom bolts a little bit loose, go ahead and snug these caps up. That'll straighten the, uh, the caps to the handlebars. And then after you snug those up, go ahead and tighten these bottom bolts on the bottom up. And make sure the handlebar is straight to the triple clamp. Okay, let's go ahead and mount our throttle uh, to the handlebar now. If you'll notice under the handlebar on both sides there's a hole. Okay, what there, there's a little uh, indent or a little tab on the bottom of this housing that clips into that hole. So as you slide this on there, you'll see that hole in there. Line that up and make sure that that housing, the little peg, goes in the hole in the handlebar. And that'll locate it for you. And then you'll notice I've, had the, uh, I've taken the cables, the throttle cables, out of this loop up in front here. I'm taking these out of here because it, it'll put too much bind on them if they're in that. So go ahead and do that and uh, you can go ahead and snug that up. Make sure that there's plenty of play in the, in the grip. Make sure it works nice and smooth and there's a little bit of play in there. And then we'll adjust that later. Okay, I've mounted my uh, brake lever and uh, uh, reservoir here. Uh, notice I've plugged the wires back into the uh, uh, sockets there. This is the uh, cabling and this is the hose. I'll, I'll explain that in a minute. We can angle, change the angle of that just a little bit. This is the uh, brake hose. And then I've done the uh, same thing over here. I've mounted the switch housing. Make sure you put the little peg in the hole in the bar there when you, when you mount that on. Same as the other side. And I've mounted the clutch back on. Plug the wires into that. And then if you'll notice here, I've uh, angled this clutch cable out of this wire housing here. I think it's going to have to swoop around like that in order for it not to bind. So uh, go ahead and mount all that stuff up temporarily and make sure your bars are angled up because we're going to go ahead and stick the gas tank on next and you don't want that, uh, if that, if the uh, bars rotated over, I've mounted the tank for fun there, but if this, if this swivels over like they do sometimes, it might hit the tank here. So make sure they're swiveled up for now and then we can adjust those later because you don't want them to hit the tank. So let's go ahead and uh, mount the tank next and then we'll continue on. Okay, go ahead and install this grip. Uh, this Avon grip is really cool. I just slide it against the housing here and then you tighten these three set screws. Uh, just tighten those up with a two millimeter uh, Allen wrench. I think a 564 American size will fit them all, so I'm not sure. But anyway, go ahead and snug those up and then that grip is on there for good.